these uh, little plastic propellers I make from plastic drink bottles. There's a bottom of one stuck in the bottom of another one. And this bottom one has been cut out and bent over and twisted like a propeller. And they work pretty darn good. Those ones I just took off of here has been out here twirling for a couple years. Gotta try to get them on center. That's a little snug, but a good wind ought to blow it. Let's try a different one. Try this one. Oh yeah, that'll spin good. We'll put it on there. And the whirly gig itself, I make most of them out of metal. This one was made out of wood. I'll put it, if I can find the video where I made these, I'll put a link down in the description. Anybody might be interested. It's basically just a little windmill. This one's made out of wood. And this thing here is a little driveway sign marker from the dollar store. Well, I got a couple, three of the whirly gig propellers replaced. One of them didn't need it. Let's work on our flowers a little bit. All right, this is where I had a patch of zinnias last year. And I wouldn't bet on it, but I think those coming up right there might be volunteer zinnias from last year. So rather than dig up the earth right there, I'm gonna leave them alone and press, plant some fresh over here. I'm gonna turn the dirt just a little bit. It might not be a zinnia, but I gotta believe it is. Sure looks like a flower. There's a whole clump of them coming up in there. This is weeds here. Anyway, I thought I'd turn the dirt a little bit. Boy, look at that whirly gig going. It's blowing up a storm. I guess there ain't no wind over here. That one's a little off, off kilter. There we go. Need to work on that one a little bit. Oh, that dirt's good and soft. I can work that with a hand shovel. All right, I brought my little scooty bucket out here. Cause I don't want to sit on the cold, wet ground. Let's see what we can do with this earth. All right, I basically unearthed the weeds and pull up the roots and stuff. I'm sitting here going through these old dried zinnia bulbs. I'm looking where we had them African daisies last year. I have to go to the store and buy them every year. I think I'm just going to turn the dirt and put zinnias everywhere where they were. If they don't grow, I won't have nothing. If they do grow, I'll have zinnias coming out my ears. 
Now these seeds here, I'm doing the same way I did last year, with the exception that last year they went through a freeze out on the porch. These have been in the dining room all winter in a plastic bag. In a computer room, I mean. I just busted up the, the old dried petal, assuming that some of it's leaves and some of it's seeds. And last year they grew from that. If they don't grow, um, all of it done wasted a little bit of time. But if we can get zinnias coming all up and down through here, we ought to have every butterfly in the county over here. I'm just going to stir these up and hopefully I'll get an assortment of colors because I didn't separate them. If later in the year these don't grow, I'll plant something else out here. Uh, it's taken a lot longer than I thought it would to bust up all these dried bulbs. But I want to stir them to get a proper mixture. I'll pluck most of the seed off and throw the little core away. It's like a little pine cone. I don't think there's anything in there. No. I was going to work on tree limbs and stuff today, but my back's been hurting a little bit and I didn't want to overdo it. But it's time to do my flowers. Now if I was putting out fresh tender plants, I wouldn't put them out yet. But these are seeds and I'm putting them, I'm going to cover them up here a little bit. Give them a chance to sprout on their own. I think I'll just speed up the whole process here and crumble them best I can. This is taking way too long. When I don't plant out here today, I'll save for somewhere else. This is one bag. I got another whole bag here that I didn't even bust open yet. I'm spilling enough seed right here on these rocks to grow a, a full garden. The wind's blowing in my way. That's what's going on. If I grow too many, then I'll have to thin them out. It's just run my fingers through them and crumble them up like that. Or to be grinding them in a grinder or something. I'm sure many of my viewers are going to tell me he don't know what he's doing, but it worked last year. I don't claim to be no Xenia expert. I grew all these from some, a few bulbs that I picked off at Jack's Garden down there, one of my neighbors down the road. He had a little Xenia patch out there, and I walked out in his garden and picked, I don't know, a whole bouquet of flowers for the contrary Mary, and when they can dry it up. I say the seed. I 
Well, I'm gonna have to bag what I don't use up. Let's go ahead and sprinkle them around. Somewhere in amongst all that is some, probably some viable seed. Now we don't need no bird to come along and eat them. So let's uh, rake them in just a little bit. Work them right down in the ground. There's a rock down there. I can feel it. Got it. What the heck? Come on, Zinnias, grow. I'll get my water bucket. No, I don't guess I need water. I mean, that dirt's pretty wet on its own. Yeah, I probably should water them in. Give them dirt time to settle around each little seed. All right, that area's planted. Let's pull up that African daisy. Oh boy, that thing's got some roots on it.
Well, I dug up the African daisies, turned the soil a little bit, made four little patches of zinnias. I don't know if they'll grow or not. If not, we'll go buy some more African daisies. Give them just a little drink. Birds probably come along and eat half these seeds. And if they don't grow, I just wasted a little time. Not a whole lot of excitement on the parts place today. Thanks for tuning in today though.